Hiya guys, well, we are now back at the G-Scale project to see how things are coming along. It's been quite a while since we've been here, so we're going to have a look at progress. And i got to say, it's coming along a lot quicker than I thought it would. So the section of track we are seeing now would have been in the uh, other update, so if you haven't seen that, check out first. It just goes around the bend there, and goes up the top of the garden, which you saw the last time when we were here. Now we're going to uh, walk you around the whole track today, say what's happened and what's going on, and hopefully run some some other trains a bit later on in the video. And as you can see, it is very warm and sunny. You think it was like July or August, which in fact it isn't. It's actually the 2nd of October. Very nice. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a walking tour of the uh, project, how it is now. And I'll tell you when the new section starts from where we saw the last time. So let's get moving. This is comes all the way up here. We are having a lot of problems with weeds, as you probably can see. There's a membrane under this, but they're still coming up through, which is a bright pain, if you ask me, but we'll sort it out. In this area where these uh, uh, wooden pieces are will be the tunnel, and we're going to construct the tunnel out of breeze blocks and other materials, obviously to make it as cheap and as strong as possible. So then we carry on up here. This whole bit you're seeing now was in the original video. Ignore the birdhouse there, I don't know what that's doing there. And in this area, all around here, will be a nice rockery with a few trees and all that kind of stuff. Now this is where the new bit starts. As you saw the last time, one of the locos coming around this corner and stopping around this area. And now we go on to the new section. Here is one of the bridges. That is on the railway. Yes, it's not to scale, but that's not what this railway is all about. This railway is just basically for a bit of fun and to run some really big model trains is more to the point. So this is just basically wood. You can see the track going across there. And now we go on across the top of the garden. we got uh, a point in there. This is just a temporary platform. We'll be getting a new one eventually. Right, this left-hand line here will be forming the branch line. We should be going through the gap in the fence there. Sorry about the sun, but that can't be helped on this day. Through the shed and all the way down the side of the bungalow. So that's going to be quite a long branch line. But that is not in yet, and that will be on a, a future update. So we'll carry on walking down the line here, which continues its way down. Yes, before you ask, that is 5 inch gauge track. We also have 5 inch gauge loco and some wagons and a live steam engine. You're probably thinking, gosh you do a lot. You'd be right. So the line continues all the way up here and this now is an embankment coming up. up up here, look, towards the next bridge crossing the footpath. If I get down in here, just here we've had to uh, bring the level of the track up. It was, let me get rid of something about it, it was down this level down here, but we've had to raise it up to this level here, which didn't take very long because we had a lot of. Uh, these uh, little uh, stones to go around. So here's the next bridge, which comes over the footpath here. Again, it's not the scale, not the best looking bridge in the world, but it does its job, which is what we want on this railway, just a nice simple garden railway. So then, it comes down here, and all this area here had to be built up because it was quite, quite low down. Now we come to a quite a sharp curve there which brings it back around and here's the fountain and rockery which is not running yet but we will get this running as soon as we can to make this area a bit better the line continues to go uh, 
across there. And now we're going to have a look at this area here. Again, we've had to do quite a bit of work here to bring the line up to the right level. And now we come to the main bridge on the track. It actually starts here and runs right the way across the whole footpath here. You know this is really simple to make as you can see just bits of laminated flooring, a wooden wooden deck here and some supports underneath to support that uh, German engine which as you know weighs quite a bit. And then the line continues across here and now we are back right where we started. This will be the area again for another station in the time being and hopefully we'll have another point coming out around about here to make a double track across the bridge back down to the pond area. So now I'm going to show you where the new branch line which I said be going through the shed and down the bungalow will go from but there's a nice little view of the rockery and the track. So we'll go down there next. We are now the other side of the shed, basically behind it, and there is a door already in place for the G-scale to come out of there. It'll cross this small area. We'll be getting knocking these out to make it the same level as this. There'll be a really nice bridge across this area, and this will be all landscaped. It'll come across the bridge, then on to a shelf, which will run the entire length of this wall right down to the gate down there. It's quite a bit of work to do, but it's going to be a really nice railway once it's done. Yes, we're going to hopefully have some sort of rockery, a couple of plants, you know, things like that, just to make the engines look better as they run in. If we look up there, you can just see the G-scale track is running along there and there's the little station up at the top. So guys what we're going to do now is uh, get to some of the trains. We have got uh, new rolling stock, three new uh, German carriages to go with the LGB tank. So we'll be showing you those later. So let's get to some of the running of the trains, is it? Right, before we get to the running of the trains, I've taken a section of track up just here, you can see. I'm going to take away the stones, and then I'm going to use a few layers of this stuff to go underneath the track. Now you're probably wondering, well, why am I going to do that? Well, if we put the tunnel straight here now, the breeze blocks, and then put the top on it, the weeds are going to grow up inside the tunnel and we won't be able to get at them very well. So what I thought to do is get rid of the stones, put a layer, a couple of layers of this stuff down, which will hopefully stop the weeds for much longer for them, well, to get through and get into the tunnel. So which will save us a bit of work having to take the tunnel apart all the time to get the, um, the weeds out. So why... You know, just get rid of all these few stones, put a few layers of that in, and then put the stones back, and then put the track back. So I'm going to do that before we run the trains. So uh, I'm going to get on with that for a minute. Right, now I have cleared this uh, small area here. This raised bit here was all the stones that were in this area. Now the next part is to roll this out along this area. It's quite wide, so that should be wide enough. Put about two, three layers maybe to just be extra uh, sure that the stuff doesn't come through through it. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but it's sure a cheap way of doing it because this was already lying around up here. So we're going to give it a go and give it, you know, a couple of months and see what actually happens. And I'll let you know if it works. You know, I'm not a professional by any means in building any of this. I just check it down and hope for the best. It's not always the best way, really, but we're going to give this a go. So if you have your own garden railway and you 
planning to put a tunnel, make sure the weeds are not going to come into the tunnel because this is going to create a mess. So this is my easy quick solution and we're going to see if it's going to work. So I'll carry on and I'll show you in another couple of minutes or so. Right, now that work is all done, the chippings are all back down and the posts there and there just to know where the underlay starts and begins so I know for when the tr we build the tunnel. This truck is one of the new ones and I'm just going to make sure this runs okay over the new bit of track. Seems to be running alright. There is a slight bank there but this is G scale. That don't matter. Yes, seems to run really well. Yes, so let's get to the running of the trains. Here we go. Now, I've put the camera on one of the uh, roofs of one of the new um, rolling stock and we're going to take the camera for a ride round the track with the Malay tank. So, off we go.
Right, this will be the last run pass now of the Mali tank in this update. And here it comes over the main bridge. Now if you probably heard during this video there's a lot of shouting going on in the background. That's one of the problems of being outside on a garden railway. You will get a lot of that. Shame, but I suppose that's what makes it a bit more real. Here is the engine for oh, one last go past the camera. So guys, thank you for uh, watching my videos. I will obviously, as usual, post more updates of this garden railway as it goes along. And we are expecting more rolling stock and engines and hopefully more scenery in the next update. Once again, thank you for watching the GK uh, project. And hopefully we'll uh, do another update on one of the three projects very soon. There has been work being done on both the Jubilee Model Railway and the Westfield Model Railway to cover. So that's it for this one. Speak to you all in another video in the future.